This video is helped made possible by Pete's Clothing Hodge Brewery in Belfouge, South Dakota. They sent me these Wrangler George Strait Original Fit jeans to try out with eight different kinds of cowboy boots featuring eight different toe shapes so you can see if this style is gonna work for you. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya And then I'll be on my way Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Jeremiah Craig. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe. And if you're a regular, always remember to like and comment down below. I wanted to try some Wrangler George Strait Original Fit jeans for a while now, just because a lot of you guys out there have requested it and it's just a classic. So without further ado, let's break this jean down with the rundown. Yes, this is the Wrangler 13 MGS HD, also known as the George Strait Cowboy Cut Collection Original Fit. This is the heavyweight stone denim color. It's 100% cotton and it is a heavyweight denim at 15 and a half ounces. Again, it is a Cowboy Cut Original Fit with a high rise and it also has long inseam options. This one in particular is a 3238. So this is the longest jean measured size that I've tried. It also features a zip closure. These jeans are made in Nicaragua and they're coming in at $38, maybe a little bit more for the larger sizes over at Pete's Clothing in Hodge Brewery, but you can save 10% when you mention my name, Jeremiah Craig. Now I wanna tell you a little bit more about Pete's Clothing Hodge Brewery because it's an awesome store in Belfast, South Dakota. Pete's Clothing Hodge Brewery is an incredible Western wear and cowboy boot store in Belfouche, South Dakota. It's been there for a long, long time and they carry incredible brands like Hondo Boots, Anderson Bean Boots, Justin Boots, Ariat, and so much more. Plus they have exclusive styles only available in their stores specifically Hondo boots. And they ship internationally. At the time of this recording, Pete's Clothing does not have an online store, but you can still order from them by going to petesclothing.net and sending a direct message to them over on Facebook, on their email, or just call them. The number is right there on their website over at petesclothing.net. Now it's time to try on these George Strait jeans with eight different kinds of cowboy boots. All right, I got the Wrangler George Strait original fits on right now. And let's kick things off with the Roper style boot. This is an Ariat Roper with a Roper round toe, a shorter Stockman heel, and it comes up about 10 inches tall. You know, one of the things that uh, I'm always worried about, if you've ever seen a jeans video from me before, you'll know this, that the jeans can sag into the tops of shorter boots, wider top boots like this area. You kind of get that bucket effect when you stack. You know, these ones aren't stacking as much as I thought they would for a 38. And it seems to me like these are just a little bit small. The 32 around the waist here is really tight when compared to other 32s. And I asked Pete's Clothing and Hodge Bootery about this, and they said that all of the new Wranglers coming from Nicaragua are a little bit smaller and tighter fitting around the waist. So I'm gonna have to revisit the 13 MWZ here sometime soon uh, because I'm really curious if that's kind of carried over in that line as well. So this is a shorter 38. I thought it was gonna be much longer, but it's kind of like a long 36, similar to the Cody James Fisticuff stackable straight leg jean that I did that was a 36, but it was a long 36. Very similar length here, and you can see that we are getting a bucket effect when we try to stack with these Roper boots. All right, next up, let's take a look at a Uto cowboy boot. This is a Hondo 2670. You can get this one at Pete's Clothing and Hodge Bootery. It's got a two inch heel on it and it comes up 14 inches tall. And because this is so tall and does have a deeper scallop here, we're not getting any bucket effect at all. This is a classic look right here. It's very high rise and 
You also have a nice stack. It's stopping where it should on the boot, right above the heel. And it looks great in my opinion. I think this jean is gonna go with pretty much all of the boots that we're gonna try today. It went with the Roper a little bit, but again, that bucket effect just sort of turns me off. If you don't want that to happen, just buy a shorter size and don't stack as much as this. So let's move on and start with the R toe. Here's our R toe example, also known as a medium round toe. This is a Tony Lama 6250. It's got about a one and a half inch heel and it comes up about 12 inches tall, just a classic boot paired with a classic jean, classic look all around. And again, those jeans are stopping exactly where I like to see them there, just above the heel. So you're not gonna be walking on these at all if you are looking to stack quite a bit. Stack like this or even longer. I know there's some folks out there who really stack quite a bit. And if you do, you might want to go a little bit longer than what you usually do. Like I said, these are shorter than I thought they were gonna be at a 38. They're more like a long 36, maybe like a 37 or something like that because I was expecting them to stack like crazy. But uh, as you can see, it's kind of just like a normal stack. And when they go through the dryer, it might even just be like a 36 at the end of the day for me. Anyways, now let's try a J-toe. All right, here's our J-toe example. This is a narrow round toe from BNV. This is a water buffalo calf boot with about a one and three quarter inch heel. It comes up about 13 inches tall. That's my brand there. BNV Boots can customize your orders for you if you decide to go that route. And again, I think this is working really, really well here. Everything goes with the BNV Boots, including these classic George Strait jeans. You know, it's a, it's a good look, and I was just talking about the dryer while I was wearing that last boot right there, but I don't think I'll put these in the dryer anytime soon. I think I'm gonna really wear these quite a bit because I'm very concerned about this waist just shrinking up a little bit more, and I have no room here. Like, this is a very, very tight fit on me at the waist, way tighter than what 32s usually are. So if you are concerned about that, you might want to size up just a little bit for the waist because this is almost close to uncomfortably tight around the waist when usually for 32s, I have to wear a belt, but not with this, not at all. Whew. Now let's try snip toe. All right, here we have a snip toe example. This is a Yeehaw Cowboy Cayman tail boot in black cherry. It's got about a one and a half inch heel and it comes up about 13 inches tall. Again here, it's looking great. Even with the stack, I, I, can't, I can't say that they're not gonna go with everything. I think these jeans are gonna go with every single boot that we're gonna look at, maybe the shorter ones. We get a little bit of a sagging bucket effect if you wanna stack, but that can be easily fixed when you just order a shorter size. So it's looking great, especially for the price at $38. I mean, the sizing is a little tight, maybe even a little short, but for $38, it's hard to argue with this look. And with it being such a heavy weight, nice denim that you could really work in too if you wanted to. So these could be your nice jeans or they could be your work jeans. All right, let's take a look at a narrow square toe. This is a Fenolio Black Victoria Rough Out. It's got about a one and a half inch heel. You can see this example does have a little bit of a spur shelf as well. And it comes up about 13 inches tall. And again here, it works really, really well. It works great. Geez, these jeans work with every single boot that we've seen so far. Um, maybe not that roper like I said, but damn. This is a classic jean that goes with everything. All right, here's a French toe example. This is a Boulet 8502 Cayman belly boot with about a one and a half inch heel. It comes up 12 inches tall. And again here, it works really well. This could be a dress jean, could be a work jean. The high rise of it uh, isn't my absolute favorite fit, but I know that it's necessary for a lot of folks out there. So it does come up 
a little bit high, just like the 13 MWZ. In fact, I'm wondering if there's really any difference at all with them still starting with the 13 uh, number in the model code. So is this just George Strait's version? Maybe the uh, denim is a little bit thicker, but I kind of feel like the fit around the thighs, of course the cowboy cut, leg opening down there is very very similar to the 13 MWZ so if you wanted to transition I think that transition would be very easy and you might not even notice at all as long as you made sure that you ordered just a little bit higher waist size from those 13 MWZs that were made in Mexico to now they are made in Nicaragua I guess uh, both the 13 MWZ and the George Straits are getting made there now from what I understand. All right, here's the last example I have for you today. This is a wide square toe and a double stitched welt example from Anderson Beam. This is a full quill ostrich option with about a one and a quarter inch stockman heel and it comes up about 13 inches tall. I know a lot of you guys like this style and it works really, really well here again. So pretty much everything worked really, really well. The only thing that I would say to be wary of, if you cared even, was to just be careful about stacking with some of the shorter boots, like the Roper, right? This shorter boot here just doesn't deal with the stacking as well as some of the taller ones. So when you stack a little bit, the taller boot definitely has more surface area to spread that material out on the shorter boots, not so much. So if you have a roper boot or maybe a shorter wide square, you might want to get a lower size on your length or inseam with these jeans just to make sure that you don't get that bucket effect because the bucket effect really doesn't look that nice. If you don't care, you're just gonna be working anyways. So it doesn't matter, but uh, it's not the best look if you're trying to go out and about or on a date or something. But overall, I think this jean worked with pretty much everything we tried other than the shorter boots, but I wanna know your thoughts down in the comments. All right, guys, I wanna close out this video really quick by saying that I wore these jeans Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the whole weekend. They actually broke in quite a bit, started sagging, you know, a little bit extra, so I felt like they were in a good place for me to wash and then dry them. Here's the before and after. They definitely shrank up in length. They also got a little bit more form fitting around the thighs as well and shrank back down to the normal fit of tightness around the waist. They did loosen up over the three days that I wore these without washing them. So everything shrank back down, but especially the length of these jeans. That's my experience with these George Strait cowboy cut original fit jeans these are the made in nicaragua ones i want to know your experience down in the comments and if you're looking to get yourself a pair definitely get them from pete's clothing and hodge bootery whether that be through the phone through dms or email like i said at the time of this recording they do not have their online shop set up but when you use any of those methods to contact them definitely mention my name and you'll get 10 percent off they're an awesome small shop in Belfouche, South Dakota. Thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Those George Strait Wranglers, they might fit a little small, but they break in fast, and they're made to last, helping you stay in strong. Thanks so much for watching today. Why don't you check out this video I did up here right at Pete's Clothing and Hodge Bootery. Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace. Have a good one.